And today we're going to talk about those early signs that we can spot when someone is struggling. Sarah, um, from our recent YouGov survey, we've noticed that 30% of those veterans who need help are still not coming forward yeah. for support. How is it we, or indeed them, they, can spot those early signs of needing support or struggling? Yeah, and, and that, that's exactly, it's a really useful point because it, it sometimes does take a long time to, to spot these signs. I would say recognising in yourself or somebody else, perhaps um, more of a, maybe difficulty with relationships. So, um, you know, there may be more kind of irritability so it may be at one or other end of the extreme so you might find somebody is a little bit less patient or you find yourself a little less patient you find yourself being a bit more irritable or the things that normally would not bother you quite so much they're actually feeling like a really big deal it can be the other end of the extreme as well that you would kind of separate yourself from people or from activities that you would normally do maybe you stop doing the things that you would sports the activities the work that you would isolate um, yourself a bit more and there's this real challenge of a lot of our beneficiaries suffering in silence thinking that actually what they're experiencing is too much for them and it's too much for other people in their, li their lives so they shut themselves away and they disengage and that's the very thing that we want to encourage people to, to recognise that actually there is help available. A big part of our role is, is raising awareness through the discussions that we have but also through the information that we communicate so on our website there's a, a whole host of information that can point our beneficiaries in the direction of how they can get help and how we can support them.